Firstly, a big thank you to MSI for sponsoring our trip to Computex 2019. Please check out their range of Intel-based motherboards via the link in the video description. Also, thank you to Corsair for their support. Please check out all their exciting new products via the link in the video description. And coincidentally, we'll be looking at some of them in this video. Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. We are at the Corsair suite in the Grand Hyatt. I've got Tim on the camera holding a light very awkwardly. Might get a photo of that later. Anyway, he's doing a good job. We've just come across this Corsair One concept. Now, if you guys remember, I built a well a similar system to what this is in the Fantex Shift X. And basically, this system would blow mine out of the water and they reckon it would also run cooler. There's a lot of hot air just pumping out the top of this thing. Surprisingly quiet though for the amount of air that's coming out. But it has a Core i9 9980XE and then an NVIDIA GeForce Titan RTX graphics card in this little Corsair one. So it's a concept system. They're calling it the One Pro i199. So pretty cool system there, but that's not really why we're here. We're here to check out their new Hydro X liquid cooling gear. So we'll go do that now. Okay, so this is what we've made the trip out for. Corsair's new and very massive range of Hydro X bits. This stuff's been in the works for a very long time now, but that's understandable as Corsair wanted to make their jump into the DYI custom liquid cooling market with a full range of products. So that means multiple CPU water blocks, GPU blocks, radiators, and boatloads of fittings. Starting with the CPU blocks, Corsair's launched with two models, and they look very similar. Here we have the XC7, which is the more mainstream offering designed for Intel LJ1150 series sockets, and of course AMD's AM4 socket. The XC7 features a nickel-plated copper heat pipe, more than 60 microfins, and it comes with a pre-applied tim. It's also only available in black, well, at least for now anyway. Then there's the XC9, and this CPU block is designed for high-end desktop platforms, such as Intel's LGA 2066 socket and AMD's TR4 socket. The cold plate is slightly larger, allowing it to accommodate for more than 70 microfins. Then, as you've probably noticed, the XC9 features a silver housing, which does reflect LED lighting very well. Speaking of which, both models feature 16 addressable RGB LEDs that point downwards, and this gives a really cool effect on the motherboard. Basically, it lights up the area around the CPU socket, and yeah, just provides a really cool looking glow effect. Corsair also has a few GPU blocks on offer, the XG7, and this supports RTX 20 series graphics cards, and we know of support for models such as the 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti, all Founders Edition models, but we have heard they will be offering a few different AIB versions as well. We were also told there will be a version available that supports the older Pascal GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti. Personally, I really like the design of Corsair's GPU blocks. The black aluminium casting looks amazing, and I really like how there's the cutout section. It allows you to see the liquid that flows through the block. And in addition to that, there's also a built-in flow indicator. So, yeah, that's very cool. The full-length aluminium backplate also looks really nice, and I like that Dominator memory-style cover over the inlet and outlet ports. That's also a really nice touch. The GPU blocks feature over 50 copper fins on the cold plate, and these are nickel plated. Then on the back side of the block, you'll find a few pre-installed thermal pads to help make the installation a bit easier. For now, there is just a single pump slash reservoir combo option, which Corsair has named the XD5. It's a smart little setup that combines a high performance D5 PWM pump with a 330 millimeter nylon reservoir, which is of course capped off nicely with some RGB lighting. There's also a number of 30 and 55 millimeter thick radiators. The XR5 range of radiators measures 30 millimeters thick, but comes in 120, 140, 240, 280, 360, and 420 millimeter sizes, while the thicker XR7 range is available in 240, 360, and 480 millimeter sizes. All feature a copper slash brass construction. They look very good. As for fittings and tubing, there's already a pretty big range on offer here with a number of different 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter fittings available in either black, white, or silver. They also have some coolants on offer with the new XL5 range, and these transparent coolants are available in red, green, blue, purple, or clear. Corsair says they feature advanced anti-corrosion and antibacterial inhibitors, which won't tarnish or damage your blocks, fittings, or tubing. So we'll have to see how well they work over a six to 12 month period. Anyway, the demo systems they had on display looked amazing. Tim and I spent quite a bit of time checking them out, and we also spotted the new Corsair 
MP600 Gen 4 PCIe NVMe SSD inside one of the builds. We asked about this one, but we didn't get too much information. We know that the MP600 will be launched around the same time as the third gen Ryzen processors in July. Uh, but what we do know for now is that this is obviously a PCIe 4.0 times 4 device. It uses a Fires on PS5016 E16 controller and will pack sequential read speeds of up to 4950 megabytes per second with sequential write speeds of 4250 megabytes per second. Capacities haven't been yet announced, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So that concludes our tour of Corsair Suite this year. Saw a lot of cool things, really liked the Hydro X liquid cooling. Would have liked a closer look at that MP600 NVMe SSD, but yeah, they weren't taking those out of system. So the B-roll we got was about as good as you can get there. Obviously we can't really test them out yet. Sort of under NDA, but anyway, that stuff will all come soon. But let me know what you guys thought of the new liquid cooling gear. Do you want to see me maybe upgrade the 1000D build, the, the coffee ripper? It's probably gonna need an upgrade anyway soon. But anyway, let us know. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And we'll see you again next time.